Saudi Arabia is now taking shots at the dollar. Sam Bakeman Freed has been exposed for doing more and more dumb stuff. And we got a lot to cover today. Let's first take a look at the price of Bitcoin. And before I start this video, um, my normal mic is just not working. So yeah, we're rolling with the default mic, whatever that is. And yeah, so Bitcoin right now just chilling around 21K. It's just moving, been moving side to side. Stock market was open today. Not much movement. So stock market didn't really move. So Bitcoin didn't really move. This has been really, you know, equities macro driven. This whole rally Bitcoin's been on. So yeah, and to our first story of the day, take a look at this. One in three U.S. Congress members receive campaign donations from Sam Bankman Freed or other FTX executives. One in three. 33.3 repeating percent. That is ridiculous. Now let's take a look at this. So if you didn't know, yeah, one in every three of the 535 senators or representatives in the current U.S. Congress have received campaign support from one of the senior executives. This just shows you the levels of lobbying that was going on. This is really just showing you the levels of corruption. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. It's just absolute garbage. But yeah, of course, as expected. We already knew he was lobbying people, but we didn't have the one in three. One in three. That is ridiculous. That's absolutely insane. And then take a look at this. The story of the day. Saudi Arabia says they're open to selling trading currencies other than the U.S. dollar. Now, I'm sure you guys know the U.S. dollar's uh, dominance mostly relies on the fact that it is the petrodollar. You know, trade and oil has got to be done with dollars. So take a look at this. According to Saudi Arabia's finance minister, Mohammed al Janan, the country is now willing to settle trades in currencies other than the U.S. dollar. This is not good for the dollar, by the way. Um, yeah, anyways, the revelation was made by al Janan on Tuesday during an interview in Davos. Hmm. Davos, huh? And he's quoted saying this, there are no issues with discussing how we settle our trade arrangements, whether it is in the US dollar, whether it's in the euro, whether it's in the Saudi real. And that's what he said. He also stated that he doesn't think they are waving away any discussion that will help improve trade around the world. We know China and Russia have been making massive moves, you know, to try and become buddy buddy with Saudi Arabia. And let's be real, Joe Biden's really not that good. You know, US is not that tight with Saudi Arabia. The dollar still has a dominance, the dollar is still king, but these other countries are trying to make moves to try and dethrone the dollar on a long on a long enough time frame. And then take a look at this, our next story. Vice Prime Minister of Ukraine says he wants to make the country a world leading jurisdiction for cryptocurrency. Take a look at this here. He's quoted saying this. That will see Ukraine having the best crypto asset jurisdiction jurisdiction in the world. Sorry, my bad. And Ukraine, you know, obviously they're going to be probably introducing a central bank digital currency like every single country in the world is going to be doing. And yeah, it's just the reality of the situation. But I guess W Ukraine for saying they're going to bring in cryptocurrency. But duh, why wouldn't you? You know, if you want to expand your economy, bring in money, you're going to dot blockchain because this is where the money's at. This is the future. Why would you turn away innovation? Turning away blockchain, turning away cryptocurrency is just turning away innovation. It's a really stupid move. So, yeah, kind of expected. And then take a look at this to our next story. This is something, you know, big headline. The richest 1% of people amassed two-thirds of new wealth created in the last two years. And that really goes to show you, you know, what's happened and what's going to happen. The rich are going to continue to get richer and the poor are going to get poorer. Now we know in 2023, you know, cryptocurrencies had a rough, rough 2022. Real estate, it's probably the worst time to ever get in the real estate since 08, 09. It's pretty crazy and there's a chance we have a pretty rough recession this year. But guess what? At the end of the day, it's up to fucking you. So you got to be willing to get up and just fucking work because, yeah, the rich are going to get richer, the poor are going to get poorer, but really it's in the day. Are you going to wake up? Are you going to do the work? Are you going to do what you have to do to try and make sure you get to the top so you can be a part of the 1%? Because that's where I'm going. I mean, I don't know because it really is we are going to a world, and I'm sorry, but it's just the truth. The rich are going to continue to get richer, the poor are going to get poorer. So you got to kind of choose what team you're going to be on. And that's just the way it is. Sorry if you don't like it, but it's the truth. And I guess that's all we got for today. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of all this. And yeah, make sure to follow me on all my socials, follow me on Twitter. And yeah, thank you for watching.